This is the Cambridge English First, Test 2. I'm going to give you the instructions for this test. I shall introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you'll hear this sound. You'll hear each piece twice. Remember, while you're listening, write your answers on the question paper. You'll have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer, A, B or C. Question one. You hear a man talking about how his business became successful. I started this business with a really small budget. I tried to run it really economically using the money I'd saved over the years and I chose to sell my products in quality stores for the first year before approaching the supermarkets. Then my business suddenly took off and I knew if I wanted to continue to grow, I really needed to make a series of TV advertisements and that required more money than I personally had. Someone my mother knew offered to help me out, which was really lucky because I'd tried applying to the bank for a loan, but the interest rates were too high. I started this business with a really small budget. I tried to run it really economically using the money I'd saved over the years, and I chose to sell my products in quality stores for the first year before approaching the supermarkets. Then my business suddenly took off, and I knew if I wanted to continue to grow, I really needed to make a series of TV advertisements, and that required more money than I personally had. Someone my mother knew offered to help me out, which was really lucky, because I'd tried applying to the bank for a loan, but the interest rates were too high. Question 2. You hear a woman talking about a journey. Well, I thought it was pretty uncomfortable, really. We had to be on board half an hour before we set off, I've no idea why, and then didn't stop at a service station for four hours. Four hours, can you imagine? We couldn't even get up to stretch our legs. We were just stuck in our seats, and when we did eventually stop, it was a rush to find a snack and a drink before we had to get on again. But it was cheap, and the new bridge means you don't have to take those awful ferries, which is definitely a bonus. Well, I thought it was pretty uncomfortable, really. We had to be on board half an hour before we set off, I've no idea why, and then didn't stop at a service station for four hours. Four hours, can you imagine? We couldn't even get up to stretch our legs. We were just stuck in our seats, and when we did eventually stop, it was a rush to find a snack and a drink before we had to get on again. But it was cheap, and the new bridge means you don't have to take those awful ferries, which is definitely a bonus. Question 3. You overhear a man talking to his wife on the phone. It'll be great, you'll see. We won't just be stuck in one place. We'll be able to go on day trips wherever we want and see all sorts of interesting sights. We won't be rushing to catch the bus to work every morning. We'll actually have time to sit down and have breakfast together. It seems a shame that we only have time to do things like that when we're away on holiday. Fancy having to leave the country to have a relaxed breakfast. I know it's expensive, but I definitely think it'll be worth it. And when you pass, you'll get the benefit too. It'll be great, you'll see. We won't just be stuck in one place. We'll be able to go on day trips wherever we want and see all sorts of interesting sights. We won't be rushing to catch the bus to work every morning. We'll actually have time to sit down and have breakfast together. It seems a shame that we only have time to do things like that when we're away on holiday. Fancy having to leave the country to have a relaxed breakfast. 
I know it's expensive, but I definitely think it'll be worth it. And when you pass, you'll get the benefit too. Question four. You hear two students talking about their course. That was a good lecture, wasn't it? Yeah, not bad. I just wish the course was a bit more challenging sometimes. Do you? I find it quite hard enough already, actually. Well, at the beginning of term, I thought it was going to be great, you know, and looking into it all in more depth would be fascinating.、Mm. But now I'm not so sure. So, do you think you might do something else instead next year? No, I'll definitely carry on. I am learning, and I need the qualification, even if it's just so I can go on to do something a bit more relevant later on. That was a good lecture, wasn't it? Yeah, not bad. I just wish the course was a bit more challenging sometimes. Do you? I find it quite hard enough already, actually. Well, at the beginning of term, I thought it was going to be great, you know, and looking into it all in more depth would be fascinating.、Mm. But now I'm not so sure. So, do you think you might do something else instead next year? No, I'll definitely carry on. I am learning, and I need the qualification, even if it's just so I can go on to do something a bit more relevant later on. Question five: You hear a woman talking about roller derby, a hobby which involves speed racing on skates. My roller derby skates are the most expensive footwear I've ever owned. It's a tough physical game, and I think that's been the most astonishing thing for friends to understand when I tell them which sport I've taken up. They're always amazed when they see me too, as our team races against another one around a track at incredible speed. It's thrilling, a great way of just leaving all my worries behind for a few hours. But of course, body protection like a big helmet and knee pads are essential. So I admit I must be pretty unrecognisable like that, especially since in my daily life I look so ordinary. My roller derby skates are the most expensive footwear I've ever owned. It's a tough physical game, and I think that's been the most astonishing thing for friends to understand when I tell them which sport I've taken up. They're always amazed when they see me too, as our team races against another one around a track at incredible speed. It's thrilling, a great way of just leaving all my worries behind for a few hours. But of course, body protection like a big helmet and knee pads are essential. So I admit I must be pretty unrecognisable like that. Especially since in my daily life I look so ordinary. Question six: You hear part of a radio program. I'm sure it'll be popular, especially with sporty types. There's a lot of swimming gear on display. It's fascinating to see how different types of swimwear can affect a swimmer's performance. It actually made me want to get out there and do something active myself. You can book tickets online, and it's open seven days a week. And of course, once you're in the building, there are all the permanent collections to look at too, if you want to. So, whether you're like me and a bit of a couch potato, or fit and into exercise already, go and have a look. I'm sure it'll be popular, especially with sporty types. There's a lot of swimming gear on display. It's fascinating to see how different types of swimwear can affect a swimmer's performance. It actually made me want to get out there and do something active myself. You can book tickets online, and it's open seven days a week. And of course, once you're in the building, there are all the permanent collections to look at too, if you want to. So, whether you're like me and a bit of a couch potato, or fit and into exercise already, go and have a look. Question seven: You overhear two students discussing a reading project they did with young children. So, did you like working with the little kids, reading with them, and everything? The books we chose for them from our library went down a storm, didn't they? Especially the bits we read out loud. Yeah, though I wondered if the really little ones could hear properly. It's such a big space. It was good fun, though. Well, like when we started giving away the gifts we'd brought them. Hmm. It's a pity the weather wasn't good. We should have been out in the sunshine. That room's meant to hold the whole school, about six hundred kids. Well, at least we got out to play football with them in the break. 
So did you like working with the little kids, reading with them and everything? The books we chose for them from our library went down a storm, didn't they? Especially the bits we read out loud. Yeah, though I wondered if the really little ones could hear properly. It's such a big space. It was good fun, though. Well, like when we started giving away the gifts we'd brought them. Mm, it's a pity the weather wasn't good. We should have been out in the sunshine. That room's meant to hold the whole school, about 600 kids. Well, at least we got out to play football with them in the break. Question 8. You hear an actor talking about the character she plays in a TV drama series. Well, I enjoy playing her because she's so complex. She can be really sharp-tongued and gives brilliant one-liners. I wish I could do that. She's a clever lady, but I wouldn't want to spend my time jetting all over the world like she does. I think it's really important to understand the character you're playing, you know, to try and get inside the character's head. So I've invented a whole backstory for her. I'm sure that at some point in the future she'll have a romance. Then you'd see a different side to her. Well, I enjoy playing her because she's so complex. She can be really sharp-tongued and gives brilliant one-liners. I wish I could do that. She's a clever lady, but I wouldn't want to spend my time jetting all over the world like she does. I think it's really important to understand the character you're playing, you know, to try and get inside the character's head. So I've invented a whole backstory for her. I'm sure that at some point in the future she'll have a romance. Then you'd see a different side to her. That is the end of part one.